Thank you, Bruce. This is actually probably one of my favorite open mics in all the city. Uh, I've only done like three or four, so that's not saying much, but <laughs> at the same time, I still love you, Bruce. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, I heard someone talking earlier about their school, and I just had to like spill some grief about mine for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I was doing summer school in a school that had 32 kids. Not to a classroom, to the school. I, I went to summer school in a school where they hadn't had summer school in 10 years. They had to remake the program just for me. I literally came back every summer, like every week of that summer, to talk to my fucking principal for like 30 minutes about feudal Japan. <laughs> Bullshit. And while I was there hanging out with him, he decided to try and do some counseling for me because he knows how fucked up I am mentally. And he asked me, so what's it been like being homeless for the last three years? And I was like, oh shit, dude. You gotta let me process that. I thought I was just camping. <laughs> I have a roof over my head most of the summer. I couch surf. I, like, it wasn't something that was bad. I realized I was poor. I didn't realize I was homeless. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I got no disillusions about being rich, motherfucker. But at the same time, I didn't know I didn't have a house. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sleeping pretty comfortably most of the time. I have a job. I'm only 15. Holy shit, I am a beach bum. Oh, <laughs> fuck. And so I'm hanging out at the school, and uh, the person who made me have to do this summer school was my uh, teacher, Mr. G. His name was Gail, right? So we just called him Mr. G, because we had three other Gales in the entire fucking school, even though there were only 40 people, including the teachers. Anyways, <laughs> Mr. G asked me one time, uh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and I just kind of looked at him like, do you really want to know the answer? <laughs> and then, again, the next week, he asked me, what's wrong with you? And I look at him and I go, dude, yeah, you ask me one more time, I'm going to write an essay about it. <laughs> Next week, sure enough, we're doing something on the Qing Dynasty or whatever, and he fucking comes over and looks at me and goes, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I was like, you know what's happening now, G. Took two days, finished my report, three-page essay on what was wrong with me when I was just 14 years old. Could you imagine what I could write now? <laughs> Holy shit, that shit would be an autobiography for the ages. But, um, yeah, tell you a little bit about why I'm so fucked up. My uh, grandpa, like years and years back, we, uh, his boys were in the army, and he's racist as shit, right? But his boys called back going, hey, there's a young black boy who's out here defending our country, and he has nowhere to go for the holidays. Can I bring him home? And my grandfather said, all I see is green, bring that boy home. No matter how racist that fucker was, he was like, you're contributing to our country, you deserve to be here, fuck you. Yeah. Right? So, this crazy racist bastard showed him <laughs> all day how to survive on the other side of the ocean, right? How to clean his gun, how to shoot, how to fucking go with a hike without, with all his gear without being a little bitch. <laughs> and so, like, he's, he's treated him so well the entire day. It's just amazing. I had no idea he had it in him. <laughs> we go to the, uh, the campfire at the end of the night. We're having a big meal. And he finishes his plate, and wipes his hands, and puts it down real quick, and goes, All right, boys, time to break out the sheets. <laughs> oh, jeez. That young man's eyes went as big as the plate my grandpa just put down. That shit was insane. Thankfully, a hood didn't go over his head that night. But... 
Yeah, so explains a little bit why I'm so fucked up. <laughs> Same fucker took me shooting when I was only five years old. Shot a fucking Gatorade bottle. I knew all he drank was the blue color, right? So I'm expecting tropical colors, like a little wave of flavor to pop out. No, fucker dyed it red. <laughs> was like, that's what it would look like coming out of a human. <laughs> All right, I gotta get out of here. My name's John Cruz, as bitch. Thank you much, Bruce. I'll see you guys next time.